When built and played right, Lenny is not only the best pyro DPS, but one of the strongest DPS in the entire game. So, here's everything you need to know to make your Lenny OP without any of the BS. The first great magic is Lenny's strongest weapon. If you don't have it, Aqua Simulacra, Thundering Pulse, Skyward Harp, and Polar Star are your next best options, but keep in mind it's hard to avoid overcapping on crit rate with weapons like Polar Star and Harp. But 4 star options, Prototype Crescent and Song of Stillness are your best free to play options. Scion is usable if you got it from the Battle Pass, but it's worse than free to play options, so you should not buy this specifically for Linny. For Linny's artifact sets, Meira Shusei Hunter is his best set, but other viable sets include Lava Walker, two piece two piece options between Pyro and Attack, and Fall Wanderer's Troop. Keep in mind that if you are reverse vaporizing Linny's damage, Lava Walkers will not work. For your main stats, on the sands, always use Attack% percent unless using Linny and reverse vaporize, in that case use EM instead. For the Goblet and Sarklet, you always use Pyro and Crit. Substats focus on Crit and Attack% percent, as well as enough ER to burst every rotation. In Triple Pyro teams, you should never need more than 111 to 122% ER at most. In double pyro, it can go up to about 145% at most. When structuring a Lenny team, Bennett will always be his most important teammate. After that, there are several different options. A very strong option is Lenny, Farina, Bennett, Jongling. This team utilizes the fast pyro application from Zhongling to allow Farina to forward vaporize her damage, while Lenny still gets his pyro aura buff. If you use Kazuha instead of Zhongling here, you make it a VV vape team, where Lenny utilizes the hydro from Farina and Kazuha's hydro burst to vaporize all of his damage. Lenny won't get his pyro aura buff here, but this is still his highest damaging team, thanks to the Vaporize and all the buffs from Farina, Kazuha, and Bennett. The presence of Kazuha also makes the team very strong for AoE. However, the rotation to Swirl Pyro can be inconsistent. The damage goes down by a lot if you miss the Swirl, so keep that in mind. Those are Linny's two highest damaging teams, but he still has strong options even if you don't have Farina. A mono pyro team of Linny, Bennett, Zhongling, with either Kazuha, Venti, or Lynette as your Animo unit works very well. Using Kazuha results in more damage but a bit lower DPS compared to Venti due to the longer rotation. In high mobbing AoE content, you may find Venti's crowd control more favorable. The damage in DPS is lower with Lynette compared to the other two, but it's still good. Lynette's burst taunts enemies, which can make them group themselves, and distracts them so that Lenny has an easier time avoiding getting interrupted, so she makes a great pick as an option that provides both a form of grouping and interruption or avoidance at the same time. Since Lenny loses a lot of damage if he gets interrupted, you may prefer playing him with a shield. If you do, the strongest team to play is Double Geo with Lenny, Bennett, Zhongli, Chiari. You lose a stack of Lenny's passive without a third pyro, but Geo Resonance makes up for most of that. Chiari will deal high damage from off field while taking only one second of field time. This allows the team to perform short 15 to 16 second rotations and have good DPS despite the lower damage. Navia also works instead of Chiari. Playing a sort of quick swap team by swapping to her and using her skill off cooldown, then swapping back to Linny. The rotation is longer than using Chiari due to Navia taking a lot more field time, so the damage is higher but the DPS is lower. If you don't have Navia or Chiari, you can use Kazuha, Venti, or Zhongling. Neither of them are as strong as double Geo for shielded Linny, but Kazuha or Venti can be better in AoE for their grouping. However, at this point, I would advise just trying to get better at playing Lenny without a shield. Those are all the team options that I recommend most for Lenny. His Farina teams are extremely powerful and very notably ahead of his other teams, 
but he still has good teams even without her. Lenny has some of the strongest constellations of any DPS unit in the game. His C1 provides an extra cat hat after his forced charge attack in the rotation, and an extra stack for his E. This massively improves the amount of damage he can front load by allowing him to do something like Q, C, A, E, and get his burst damage, 1 prop arrow, 3 pyrotechnic strikes, and a 3 stack skill, resulting in an overall 15% damage increase. C2 gives him more crit damage, which is another 15% increase. C3 gives his normal attack talent level 3 more levels, which is where most of his damage comes from, which ends up increasing his damage by about 10%. C4 is 20% Pyro Shred for another 10% increase. C5 increases his burst by 3 levels. This is only a 2% increase. And then C6 gives him a coordinated attack on each prop arrow, which is a 21% increase. Overall, all of his constellations except C5 are good stopping points if you want to invest vertically into him. For an early stopping point, C1 is great, but going further for like C2, C3, or C4 are all good as well. And that's everything you need to know to make your Lenny OP. If you found this video helpful at all, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. Thanks, goodbye.